All right. Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Josa Margaret Olore Francisco. Welcome to Personal Development Class. This is a recorded online class demonstration with participation of Marikina Science Grade 11 student, students who volunteer themselves. Thank you and happy watching. Koi <laughs> kawai. All right. So before we start, I want you to, I want to see your smile. I want to see your smile. Nax, nax, nax. I'm happy to uh, see you all. So also we'd like to greet good morning to our uh, dear principal, Ma'am Amorao, our assistant principal, Ma'am Perez, our two master teachers, Mami May Villanueva and Ma'am Emeline Molina. Shout out to Ma'am Maria uh, Nicolas. Thank you, Ma'am, for your support. And to all Marikina Science High School teachers, good morning. So for our class, uh, these are the friendly reminders. First, check your name tag. Okay. Sige. Think na okay naman yung names name nyo. Second, mute your mic microphone while listening to teachers. Then unmute if you're able, if you're about to uh, recite or talk. Third, uh, raise hand and use chat box if you want to communicate with teacher. Fourth, if you're about to recite, talk audibly and wait for your turn. Five, prepare, uh, prepare yourself for cold calls. Cold calls mean random calls. Okay? So I will intentionally call someone to recite so that you will be more attentive in our online class. So please prepare to unmute and mute your microphone. Okay, six, prepare your per dev learning material, bond paper, and pencil pen. Seven, report to the teacher if you suddenly experience technical problems. Okay, I'll check it after class. After online class, I want you to end the meeting on time. Do not extend and talk, chat with your classmate regarding unnecessary topics. To check the schedule if you have uh, your next online class. So, are you ready to start our day? Click like button if you're ready. Yes, thank you so much. So, let's start. Adrian, kindly read our Bible verse for today and lead us to prayer. The Bible verse for today is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Let us bow our heads and put ourselves in the loving presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, help us in our online studies today. Give us concentration so that we may listen, understand, learn, and have a peaceful mind. And may we always remember that God is always with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Adrienne. Max, can you check our attendance? How many are students? How many students do we have in our virtual class today? So currently there are eleven of us. Uh, 10 students and one teacher. All right. So let's let us have the recap courtesy of Kyle. Kyle, please read the screen. So recapitulation. Tips to become a responsible adolescent. Number one, focus on your studies and do well in all of your endeavors. Number two, establish good communication and relation with your parents or guardian. Three, set your goals properly. Four. Four. Oh, four. Be accountable. Five. Take care of your health and hygiene. All right. Thank you, Kyle, for reminding us the tips to become responsible adolescent. And take note of uh, last number. Take care of health and hygiene. I, I hope you uh, always do facial massage. Drink a lot of water. Hashtag. I know. Stay hydrated. Okay. Next, for our trivia, Reg, can you please read the report, ANC report? Um, ANC 24-7 report last May 28, 2020, 
National Center for Mental Health said callers seeking mental health support rose to 300 to 400 calls over recent months, five times higher than the 60 to 80 monthly calls received before the COVID-19 outbreak. All right. Thank you, Raig. Did you notice the grab or the change in the statistics from 60 to 80 per month? So it's five times higher than uh, before, no? Do you ano? Do you watch news? Na papapanood yun naman yung sa balita. Hmm. Okay. I see. Okay. Sige. Next. So if uh, that's the case, let's play the game. Zoom whiteboard. So your uh, the class will be divided into um, three groups. Each group will select one artist, the one who will draw in the whiteboard and the rest of the members will be the guests. So you can uh, unmute your microphone so that you can uh, talk and say your guest. Okay, for group one, it's Adrian, Justine, Raja, Alessandra, Aldrin, Joffrey, Kyle. For three, it's Rei, Jurel, Chanel, and Max. Okay, so the, here's the mechanics. You need to guess the object or, sorry, guess the person yan. Guess the person or object being drawn in the Whiteboard within 40 seconds only. The right answer is equivalent to one point and the group with the highest point will be uh, the winner. Okay. So, let's play a uh, game. So, Raja. Group number one, you can, you know, unmute your microphone and guess for... 40 seconds. Okay, Raja, are you ready? Timer starts now. Raja, are you still there? <laughs> oh gosh, <my head. laughs> um. Check the set. Yeah, okay. Guys, <laughs> Group one, wild guess. What is that? All right, I think it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> okay, Justine, what's your guess? <laughs> Justine, sige. Okay. You, know oh, you don't know, alright. Sige. sige. For other group, Kyle, what's your guess? Mukha, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> A person. A person. Alright, sige. Kisraja, what's the answer? Raja. So the answer is nurse. Nurse. <laughs> so maybe I can, you know, add cross here. Diba? And like, kanyan. Nux. <laughs> All right. Again. Next for group number two. Aldrin. Aldrin. Yes, ma'am. Ready? <laughs> timer. Ready for now. Timer starts now. Get up, mama. Hey. <laughs> Buji. Okay, go, go. Well, guess, go. Family? Nope. Do you have any other answer? Do you have different answer? Go. Parents? Yay! Wow. Yes. Yes. For, for 34 seconds. <laughs> One point. <laughs> number two. Yay! 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 Very good. Okay. So again, next, group number three. Uh, Reig. Game, guys. Game, game, game. Ready Hello. timer. <laughs> Lele, anit mo. Timer starts now. Oh my. 
Saan nga rin? House. Worker. Construction worker. Uh, frontliner. Uh, div- construction worker. Doctor. Guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, do- health professional, uh, eggs. Ano yan? Go, group three. Um, um, policeman, policeman. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Okay. Right. For 40 seconds! Yes! Pasok, pasok. So, congratulations, group two and uh, three. Yes, na you got it. Right. So, oh, so right. Okay. Next. All right. So, um, those are certain group of uh, people who are more prone to mental health due to global situation. So, our others are young people under 30 years old. Parents with children under 80, 18, children, elderly, and people with uh, mental illness. So that's why we, uh, that's why today we're going to discuss mental health and psychological being. So we can check if we are the one, uh, we are one of those people experiencing it or we have family members or friends who want to know about it, about mental health and psychological well-being. So we consulted Dr. Buboy Alienan, psychologist and psychometrician from Ateneo de Manila University. And on the on your left side ng screen niyo, that's me when I attended uh, his seminar on stress and mental health. So we also consulted Dr. Uh, Pastor K. Carolino, spiritual advisor and former Marisay GPTA president. And we got some information from Tanglao Mental Health. And also, <laughs> we got information from our ever handsome, energetic, pet malung uh, science teacher in senior high, uh, Sir John Ursilia. Sorry, hindi ka makakareak ngayon, Sir Ursilia. <laughs> okay, so for our objectives, um, Jurel, can you please read objective number one? Jurel? I think see si Max again. Max, can you please help Jarell? Objectives. Explain the meaning of mental health and psychological well-being through a PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation and short video. All um, right. Cognitive. All right. Kyle, for objective number two. Realize the importance of mental health and psychological well-being by sharing experiences through Zoom breakout session. So later uh, you go, are going to experience Zoom uh, breakout session. For three, write personal asset stress b- uh, buster on understanding mental health and psychological be- well-being to cope up with stress during adolescence psychomotor. So let's start. Our topic for today is understanding mental health and psychological well-being to cope with stress. So what is uh, well-being? So well-being is the experience of health, happiness, and prosperity. More generally, um, more uh, well-being is just feeling right. Diba? So sa left side din nyo, you'll see the wellness wheel. So it shows us that if a person is well, he or she has balanced life in every aspect. Like emotional, spiritual, and sa panahon ngayon, diba, yung uh, financial. So, check if your life is uh, more focused on uh, physical aspect and you neglect your spiritual. Say, uh, diba? Maybe that's why you're not feeling well. Okay? So, what is psychological well-being? So, it refers to inter and intra-individual levels of positive functioning that include one's relatedness with others. So, inter means outside self. And um, while intra-individual means your inner, inner self, psychological well-being means that you feel good both inside and outside. That's why you can relate to other people. The problem is sometimes people hide um, their, uh, their true selves or yung true identity nila. We tend to smile even though we feel pain. Okay? 
and um, self dyan, and self referent attitude that include uh, one sense of mastery and personal growth. Self referent means ref referring back to yourself. You have the ability to go back to yourself and ask, "How are you, self? Are you still okay? Are you happy? Are you really happy?" Or um, which requires, you know, knowing yourself very well, specifically your abilities and limitations. Sometimes we feel down or we feel so disappointed or we feel so lonely, you know, because of other people's perspective on us. So just remind yourself na pag nagkamali ka, okay lang, okay lang mag madapa. Okay lang magkamali, madapa. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, lahat ng taong dadaan, pwede kang apakan. Kasi at the first place, hindi ka naman nila, hindi ka naman nila kilala. So, kailangan mas kilala mo ang sarili mo kaysa sa kanila. And, remind yourself, there's God who gives you, you know, strengths, talents, and abilities. Okay? So, we may not able to go outside, but we can go inside. We can always check ourselves. So, let's watch uh, this video explaining connection of brain and uh, mental health. diagnosed with a mental health problem, also known as a psychiatric disorder. This is how the brain works in mental health and how problems can cause mental illness. Mental health is your ability to handle or cope with stress. Example, the fear area of the brain called the amygdala helps you avoid harmful things and escape danger. In addition, the amygdala works with the prefrontal cortex to control your response to fearful and stressful events. The prefrontal cortex also helps you make decisions, solve problems, and recall memories. The anterior cingulate cortex helps you focus on tasks and control emotions. Hippocampus helps think and store new memories. The working units of the brain are cells called neurons, also known as brain cells. Neurons pass messages to each other through electrical impulses. The impulses pass along a part of the neuron called the axon. Here's a closer look at how a message passes from one neuron. The axon, the impulse, causes the neuron to release chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. These chemical messengers move across a tiny space called a synaptic gap and attach to another neuron. This triggers the neuron to produce its own impulse. In this way, impulses spread across the brain. Problems with this process may result in brain disorders known as mental illnesses. All the causes of mental illness are known. However, a number of factors may contribute to it. Some of these factors are a family history of mental illness, which can be passed from parent to child through genes. Severe emotional or stressful life events. Or a head or brain injury. Other factors may Body called hormones, drug abuse and addiction, and an imbalance of chemical messengers in the brain. When there is an imbalance of chemical messengers in the brain, neurons may have trouble passing messages between each other. The most common chemical messenger is glutamate. It increases the chance that an impulse will form in other illnesses 
such as autism, obsessive compulsive disorder, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, and depression may have problems making or using glutamate. Serotonin, another chemical messenger, helps control mood, hunger, and sleep. For example, people with depression often don't have enough serotonin. Dopamine helps control movement and is involved with feelings of pleasure and addiction. Low dopamine levels or problems with the brain's ability to use it may be linked to schizophrenia, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. All right, so all right, so, okay. so let's process everything. So for the first question, what is the connection between our brain and our mental health? Aldrin, you want to share your answer? Um, yes. The connection between our brain and our mental health, ma'am. Uh, kasi yung mental health, uh, mahalaga na pangalagaan din natin yung mental health natin para hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng sakit. Uh, dahil sa brain, kunyari yung Alzheimer's. Uh, kasi if hindi natin papangalagaan mabuti yung mental health natin, maaari natin makuwensis na nasabi ko sa bed kanina. Alright. So it's the brain who is... Um... Uh, one of the important part of our body. Okay. Yes, uh, Reig. Um, for me, um, the brain and our mental health, um, they're very closely related to each other because according to the video that we just watched, um, our brain it releases chemical messengers. Um, All right. Also called um neurotransmitters and um imbalances within the, these chemicals may lead to mental illnesses. For example, um, low levels of serotonin uh, may lead to depression. Yeah, very good. So, you know, most scientists believe that mental illnesses result from problems with the communication between neurons in the brains. So we call it neurotransmission. For example, the level of neurotransmitter serotonin is lower in individual who have uh, depression. So also, kung napanood nyo, no, the amygdala recognizes threat and sounds the alarm. So in turn, the, it's the prefrontal uh, cortex that signals the amygdala whether the alarm is justified. So see, uh, amygdala, parang for example, no, may exam, may surprise quiz. Sabi ni Amigdala, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my quiz. Hindi ako nakapag-aral whatsoever. Ganyan, no? So, gagawin ni free frontal cortex. Oh, wait, wait lang. Relax. Relax. No? Maybe your teacher uh, will uh, will give you naman five minutes to review. Or maybe you can recall all the past lesson. Ganyan, no? So, si prefrontal cortex siya mag-a-alarm. Mag, I mean, mag kakalma kay uh, amygdala. So thus, in checking our mental health status, it is important to evaluate our physical and uh, the physiological aspects of our uh, body. Okay? So by understanding mental health ayan, and psychological well-being to cope with stress, we mind the basic. Okay? First, you need to sleep right. Eat right. Exercise and keep Keep learning because when we sleep right, we uh, it's enable our body to repair and ready for another day. Pag alam nyo, pag mas puyat kayo, mas hindi kayo nakapag-isip ng maayos kasi walang chance yung body nyo to repair itself. Okay? Exercise or eat right. It provides you with energy and nutrients you need for growth and uh, repair. It um, helps you to stay strong and healthy. Your food... Our food is our medicine. Pwede siyang magbigay ng kalakasan sa atin. Okay? And according to Dr. Buboy, instead of eating junk food, piliin nyo na lang. You eat bananas, fruits, healthy snacks. Okay? Next is exercise. It's what? Delivers oxygen and nutrients to your tissues and helps you your cardio, cardiovascular system work more efficiently. And when your heart and lungs health, improve. So, in short, 
And also, sleep, exercise, proper diet, and other physical activities increase our happy hormones in the brain. It's the dopamine, serotonin, endorphin, and uh, oxyto oxytocin. No? So, pag mas masaya daw ang isang tao, pag na-enjoy niya yung mga bagay na kanyang ginagawa, mas nalalabanan niya yung, yung stress. So, for upcut review, para hindi ganun ka-stressful para sa inyo, Take it easy. Enjoy reading. Enjoy uh, learning. Okay? Next. So, in your personal experience, okay, what are the benefits of participating in uh, Nestle Wellness dance exercise? Mm, Joffrey, uh, I know you are, you know, great a, a great dancer. <laughs> so, experience mo. Ano yung naging benefit? Ma'am, so for me po, um, it helps uh, me it stimulate my senses tsaka po um, pampabawas ng stress po. Yes, Nax. How about Justine? So, yung um, Nestle Wellness Dance Exercise, yes, it also relieves my stress and it boosts my energy and makes me feel energetic, um, prepared for the day. Yes, it's like, you know, a warm-up before we start the day. Yes. Parang wag bibiglaen, no, yung, yung katawan. Thank you for sharing. Don't forget to, you know, thank your Sir Lark and your Mappy teachers because they help us to become physically, physically fit. No, Imagine parang kung first class nila basketball, for example, second section ulit basketball, sobrang uh, pagod physically. Okay. Next, uh, let's integrate it to English naman and Filipino. Why is it important to read factual information? Uh, Max. If we read uh, information that may not come from uh, reliable sources and we immediately believe the things that they say, mm -hmm. it actually causes stress to us and we're not even sure if those particular things are true or not. So when you read factual information, you're more informed. And when I think personally, when you're more informed, you're more equipped to handle different types of situations. And that leads to less stress later on. Exactly. Okay. Remind, uh, remind yourself that our brain is designed for you know, survival. That's why nagbibigay siya ng alarm if it's a threat, kung ano ba yan, kung ano mangyayari sa'yo. So, um, it's our prefrontal cortex that signals the amygdala whether the alarm is justified. So, para hindi mag-alarm si prefrontal, para hindi mag-worry si amygdala, kailangan ay factual na information sa ating uh, brain. Okay? Sige. So, since mental health is the ability to handle or cope with stress, uh, stress is the relax, uh, resultant of a change, whether expected or otherwise, the reaction, the reaction of it. Okay? So, in short, stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or demands, whether expected or not. Sometimes, if it's difficult to embrace changes in our lives, for example, ngayong new normal, we find it so stressful. And people tend to react than to respond. Yun na yun, sobrang daming reklamo, dami nang aawayin, mag-unblock na, ay mag-block na, unfriend na, ganun. No? Kasi parang for him or her, sobrang stressful na. No? Ibig, ibig sabihin, uh, yung, respond niya, yung response niya sa situation ay hindi, hindi okay, okay. But there are, stress is not always bad. This stress is the negative stress wherein you feel so down, you are disappointed, and it seems that you cannot accept the change, pressure, or challenges. Parang ngayon, no, ngayon yung normal, mas miss na miss mo na yung friendship mo, mas gusto mong ka beso beso siya instead na online online lang, ganun, no? So, while you stress is the positive stress, it's the when, wherein you feel more motivated, focus, you love challenges, and you want to take risk, no? Positive stress siya, for example, kasi, for example, nakapasa ka ng upcut, saya-saya mo, saya mo, no? But eventually, you will feel the responsibility na, ah, okay, pag UP student ka, ganito yung kailangan pag-aralan, etc., no? And sa pet din, sa pet, it's a positive stress. Kasi, 
pag may alaga kang pet, stress reliever, nadadivert yung attention mo sa alaga mong aso. Yun nga lang, sabi nga sa kasabihan, nag-alaga ng aso para may bantay sa bahay. Pero hindi ka makaalis ng bahay kasi walang bantay sa aso. <laughs> yung mga ganun. No? It's a, so, it's a positive uh, stress. Okay? So, the three factors are predictability, controllability, and stress reactivity. To take good care of our mental health, remind yourself that, that there are predictable and unpredictable situations. You might not be able to control it, but you can control yourself. That's why people come to God, believe in spirit, and join support groups. Okay, so how do our faith and religious practices help us to have positive mental health and cope with stress? So far, in your personal experience, paano nakatulong yung faith ninyo? Um, I want, how about Raja? Um, so, personally, when I'm spiritually healthy, I feel more empowered and I feel more motivated in life. And uh, having a connection with, with the Lord really helps me a lot in my everyday life. Because we have that certain connection na exclusive lang sa, sa yo, sa self mo and yes. the Lord. Yes. So, according to Pastor Rake and other spiritual leaders, our faith actually help us to be compassionate, more forgiving, loving, resilient, and in every expected or unexpected challenges in life. And, yan, ako, personally, alam niyo yan, as a rape victim who struggled a lot of pain, nightmares, fear, and doubt, no, I uh, conquered it all, I survived it all through the help of God. Uh, family, friends, and of course, yes, my dear students. Yan. Last na to. So, how can we apply our understanding of mental health and psychological well-being in the current COVID-19 pandemic? Si, ano, um, Desiderio, Al Alessandra. Hello. Yes. Um, Many people po have lost their loved ones and relatives mm -hmm. because of COVID-19. And ano po, as the number of new cases incre increases, increase, um, yung, people, yung mga tao po na nagkaka-anxiety, mas dumadami din dahil po nag worry sila sa mga, sa kung paano po kapag po na, na nagkaroon sila ng COVID-19, gano'n. Yes, exactly. So, so, so Yung pa kung paano po natin ma-apply yung understanding po natin sa mental health ngayong pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, Katulad po nan, having strong faith po. Mm -hmm. kung, mat kung matatag po yung faith natin, pwede po tayo mag-pray po para po, para mag, kunyar, um, ipipray po, mag pray po tayo na this pandemic will end soon po. And yes. make time to unwind and connect to others. Yes, kung exactly. paano po natin Kung paano pa natin alagaan yung physical well-being natin, katulad ng paghuhugas ng kamay, ganun, mm -hmm. alagaan din po natin yung mental health natin. Correct. Agree, agree, no? So, um, for more sharing, we will have our Zoom breakout. So, I want you to share your personal experience and give importance of um, understanding mental health and psychological well-being. And after sharing, you may write a personal slogan. That consists of motivational quote, quotes or sayings na sasabihin mo sarili mo every time you feel so down or so stressed. So, it's automatic. Uh, the Zoom uh, Zoom will automatically uh, choose participants. So, it's like this. Yes, breakout room number one, breakout room number two. So, member number one, uh, two minutes sharing or ano, less than lang. Uh, read the questions. Write important ideas or write a slogan na lang. For the reporter, ayan. So, guide questions. Uh, what's your current problem? Why is it important to understand mental health? And ano yung so far ia apply mo? So, 
for our observers, the students are now in the Zoom breakout rooms. So that's why I'm the sole individual that you can see in the video. But if I join one of the break rooms, you'll see that I can communicate with the students. Um, as of now, they're answering questions like, what is your current problem? Why is it important to understand mental health and psychological well-being? And how will you apply what you have learned? So one good thing po para sa Zoom, hindi niya pwedeng i-record yung private na pinag-uusapan. So that's why we are giving them them time to, you know, to make kamustahan, kumbaga. So let's join one breakout room. Thea! <laughs> Ayun, katulad niyo sa ano din, review. Ay, ako kasi currently nag-review. Nag-review, start na ako ng review. Wow. Ay, wow. Flex. Sana all. Stress. <laughs> na, ayun nga, parang, alam niyo ba kung ano, kailan, What? parang, uh, kailan yung possible na dates ng CEDs, ganun. Wala. Sana hindi matuloy kasi alam mo na, COVID. Yes. So, yep. Gaya-gaya kayo ng sagot, ha? <laughs> oh, sige. May problem ko siya. Sige. O oh, sige, ano pa ang so, problem? Para maiba naman. Hindi, may problem ko na ito. Hindi. Parang, ano lang, yung uncertainty na hindi ba natin, alam kung hanggang kailan ito matatapos, kung buhay pa uh -oh. ba tayo. Kung oh, ano, na parang na nakatakot <laughs> din na hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari sa atin after everything. Check-check mo kung minsan-minsan kung buhay ko. Para. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Checking with you. How will you apply what you have learned? Paano kayo nakaka-cope sa mga nabanggit niyong problem? Pag ano naman, si Tia naman muna. Ah, sa'yo. Oh. Kabaliktad mo. So, second question. Why is it why is it so important to understand mental health and psychological well-being? Oh, gawin nyo na yung slogan. Oo. Gawin nyo na rin yung slogan nyo. Okay. Pero, for number two, my answer is, it's important to comprehend mental health and psychological well-being because through that, we'll also be able to understand some of our behaviors and the things we can do to cope with those behaviors, especially if we know that it's not healthy for us anymore to continue what we do. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay na kayo sa sharing. Ah, ako. Ay, Ava. yung second at third questions pa. Ah, okay. Sige, go lang. So far, um, is the lesson uh, clear naman? Yes. Alright. Sige. Sige, go. Uh, go uh, proceed sa inyong ano. <laughs> Sige. Okay. So, we're just uh, waiting for them. To finish their sharing, their uh, their uh, personal sharing. So so far, I heard that they are so anxious about the college entrance test review, um, the uncertainty if they're going to leave, and kailan yung end ng uh, pandemic. So let's hear your answer with the uh, after you've shared. Okay, question number one. Answer na po, ma'am. Yes. So, for question number one, what is your current problem? Um, the first thing that came to my mind is the college entrance test. Um, since malapit na siya, or sa tingin natin, malapit na siya because we don't even know yet. Wala pa tayong updates kung matutuloy ba yung entrance test this year. It's yes. kind of stressful. And it's kind of difficult then to find the drive and motivation to study every day and to um, alleviate the stress, sa pressure, 
Yeah, uh, that's my current problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so far, what's your coping mechanism, Reig? Um. So far, I'm um, try ko pong lagyan ng structure yung days ko. Like I make sure that I accomplish some at least I study something at least every day or at least during weekdays po. Yeah, very good yan. Cause um you know one of the the difficult effect of stress is procrastination. Okay, so that's the effect. If you're stressed, uh, you have your tendency na mag-procrastinate. Kaya, kung pakiramdam nyo, nagpo-procrastinate na kayo, number one, you need to know what's the cause of your, what's, what's the cause of the stress na you're experiencing. Second, you need to look for a motivation. And third, wag masyadong bombahin si brain ng maraming gagawin. Kahit one at a time lang. Mas maganda na yung uh, one output per day kaysa naman buong day tinadad mo na. Hindi ka na nakahinga. Kasi our brain is so smart. Kapag inabuso natin siya, sabi niya, ah, tamarin ka, tamarin ka. So, yun, no? Sige, go Max for number two. So, why is it so important to understand mental health and psychological well-being? Well, I, I thought of a few reasons. Uh, first being, uh, it's relevant. So, if stress is the resultant of change, what we're experiencing now is the epitome of a stressful situation because everything is changing and we're trying hard to adapt into these new uh, ways of yeah. living, this new normal. Um, so it's relevant in that manner because everyone can relate to this stress that we're experiencing. The second reason is mental illness, so to speak, or the failure of addressing uh, proper mental health and psychological well-being, it's rampant. It's more common than we think. And unfortunately, it's being downplayed in a lot of households. Sometimes we, it, it's, they say that it's not real. you have to get over it. And which brings me to my third reason, which is mental illness is ruthless. It doesn't choose its victim. And yes. if mental illness is left undiagnosed and consequentially untreated, then it could it could lead to severe repercussions. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Max. So, Altea, how will you apply what you've learned today? Altea, you... Wait lang. Unmute, unmute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that we are experiencing uh, this pandemic here in the Philippines, madami pong tao ang Sobrang nag-worry kung ano na po yung mangyayari sa uh, sa mundo natin. Yes. So, um, kailangan po talaga natin alagaan yung mental health natin. Para, kasi ngayon po, narinig ko sa news na madaming nagkaka-anxiety attacks. Yes. Na sobrang, sobrang naapektuhan po yung way of living nila. Um, meron po akong issue share, sana. Mm, sure. Na ginagawa ko po. Na, para. <laughs> Tips from Altea. Uh, <laughs> uh, kasi po, um, at the end of each day, nag-reflect po ako. Parang, meron po akong gratitude journal. journal mm -hmm. ka, kung ano po yung, um, sa, kung ano yung nagawa ko sa araw na yun. Kung yes, ano yung sure, accomplishment. Yes. Nagawa ko sa araw na yun. And kung ano po yung pwedeng pasalamatan sa araw na yun. Yes. Um, so, uh, yun po. Yun po yung ginagawa ko at the end of each day para hindi, para mabawasan po yung um, worries ko na tsaka yung mga pinagdadaanan po dito sa bahay. And, yeah. Agree, agree. Parang we choose to look for the brighter side of life and appreciate it. Na? Kasi yung parang ang sakit sa ulo nang nangyayari. Pero, mas masakit pag walang ulo, di ba? Charot. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. So, let's have a short quiz. True or false only. Sige. Or, siguro, like and, and ano ba? Hindi, no. Sige. True or false na lang. Sige. For number one, mental health is the experience um, of health, happiness, and prosperity. So, unmute, uh, unmute your mic. What's your answer? Sige. 
What's the answer? Audience. Justine. False. F- false. Because it's the well being. Okay, number two. Stress is always bad. Adrian. False. 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 Yeah. False. <laughs> False. Okay. False. False. <laughs> Kasi we have positive, positive stress. Okay. So, third, if we truly understand uh, mental health and psychological well-being, people must mind the basic steps in coping stress. It's True. 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 What's the basic? True. You eat right, True. sleep right, sleep exercise, right. Sleep right. and um, keep learning. Love your brain. So, a while ago, I told you to write a um, slogan. So, you identify your talent, your habits, and practices, and then you create a slogan about the importance of taking good of our mental health and um, it can be motivational quote saying to to remember. So, patingin nga po. Let me see. Kindly post your slogan dito sa screen. Yeah, it's a bad day, not a bad life. Correct. Agree. Jurel, taas mo lang ng konti. Sige, ta- ganyan nyo lang. Take care of yourself. Aldrin, where, where, are your, where is your output? Is it there? Sige, hawak nyo lang. One, two, three. Wala. Alright. Sa power. <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much. Okay, last part. Okay. So, that's the output. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Tuloy ang laban. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so zoom screen, like and unlike. Click the like button if uh, you think that we achieved the objective and unlike if not. Okay. Explain the uh, meaning of mental health and psychological well-being. Like or not. Jurel, what's your answer? Ah, meron na kanina. All right, next. Realize the importance of mental health and psychological well-being by sharing experience via Zoom. Yes, okay. Next. Realize the importance of mental health by... Oh, no, wait lang, sorry. Write personal asset stress on um, understanding mental health and psychological well-being. Slogan. Nakapag, ano ba kayo ng slogan? Yeah. Alright. So, for our assignment, it's a, a, a synchronous online platforms. Uh, visit our DepEd Marikina e-learning and Schoology. You answer the stress and mental health survey posted there. Okay. To assess yourself kung gaano kayo kay stress, kung okay pa ba yung mental health ninyo, and etc. Okay. So, for that, thank you so much! Clap, 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 clap! Yay! Thank you and goodbye, class. Always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than uh, you seen, and smarter than you think. God bless! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Pero, 